Yo, what's going on, guys? Dragoni here, and welcome to Gary Game Saturday. Currently, it is four o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to not wake up anybody in the house, so why not put the tensions on the rise and play a scary game? And today, we are playing Red Door, Yellow Door. And as you can see, there's this creepy MF right here between a red door and a yellow door. Honestly, let's get right into it. First of all, yep, everything looks good. All right. Shoot, I'm excited guys, I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie. Red door, yellow door, any other color door. Red door, yellow what door, door, any other color door. Red door, yellow 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 door, any other color door. Because people are sleeping. So, left shift to run, E and the right, P to pause, okay. Basic. Basic standard stuff. Oh shit. Danger of death. Key is needed. Okay. So we open it. The damn graphics look kinda good for a game. This is a demo by the way, guys. It just came out, I think, recently. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. And our goal is to not freak out. We're gonna get jump scared, but is it not like let out loud noises. You know, we gotta keep the tension high on the rise since people are sleeping in the house. Pink door. Door number two. We don't run very fast. Game looks good. For a little demo. Another pink door. God damn, look close. Yeah, I guess we start right and go left. The third. Oh, we gotta be careful. I got my jump scare blanket. You guys knew it. If you guys don't know what this is, this is the protection blanket from jump scares. It is, in fact, the goldest blanket out here. What is this? Date unknown to the persistent seeker, a world of caution as you progress. The entities here grow more aggressive the further you dwell. Each time you use a key to open the door, they become aware of your advancement. It's as if they can sense your progress and it angers them. With every new door unlocked, the pursuit becomes more relentless. Stay vigilant and be prepared for the increased danger that comes with each step forward. The deeper you go, the more you need to rely on your wits and instincts to evade them. Stay safe and keep moving, a fellow survivor. Okay. But right now it's calm. It's like it's like easy mode, you know, because we haven't opened up the door well with a key yet. A fucking maze in here though. Okay. It's a loading, but uh, not a loading, but oh no, it's just blocked off. Was it? I gotta, I gotta calm myself. I gotta keep my heart rate down. Oh, this it is scary. You know what's funny right now, guys? I'm gonna tell you a story. Currently, my Wi-Fi is down, so while recording this at midnight. Eight, I'm good. I'm good. I'm calm. I'm calm. It's chill. Door number five goes. I said, I'm about to find my way through the through the dark ages. Oh, what's happening? Not all doors should be open. Oh, okay. So note to self: if it's not a corresponding, what is it? Um. Oh, what is this? What is this? I can read this note. Date unknown. Whoever finds this, you enter a world that seems to be constructed of your mind, a game, that's what they said. But if you're reading this, know that you're not alone. I was here too, and this place is far more than not just a figment of your imagination. At first, it all feels like a dream, a twisted adventure crafted by your own thoughts. You think it's all in your head, that the doors, the keys, the eerie silence are all part of the game. But there's a lurking truth. This place is real, and as real as that fear you're feeling crawling up your spine, fellow traveler. Door number one. 
fate to whoever finds this. The journey ends at the red yellow door. Only through them Only through them can you awake from this nightmare, but beware, not all doors lead to salvation. Use wisely. Each key you find unlocks new rooms or zones. Pushing you deeper into the unknown. Keep your eyes peeled, your mind sharp. Hidden within these shadows is your only way out. Remember, you are not the first to walk these halls, and you might not be the last. Leave something behind for the next wanderer. Sign a clue, anything to help them escape this place. Good luck, and you may find your way out before it's too late. Wait, so am I helping my own self if I leave like a key on the ground somewhere because I couldn't reach there? <gasps> Dude, that'd be fire. Okay. Okay, so it is the same because that was pink and I was green and I was number two. So are we going forwards from like seven, six, five, four, three, two, one? Or are we going forwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? That's the real question. Also, I saw there was 11 keys. So, oh shit, I don't remember this though. Hold on. Holy crap. Kind of reminds me of Stanley Parable if you guys played that game. There's 10 keys. Well, I guess this would. We have to find all 10 keys and place them here. Give it key one. Oh. All right. This game's kind of dope, bro. But I don't remember that being there. Oh, I must have not looked at it. Because, yeah. This is the same. Since we already went through the yellow, let's go to the green. We gotta find our first key. Oh, it's dude. I'm getting mad goosebump. It's basically a memory game. Okay. Okay. So really nothing in here. Close the door. Date unknown to the next traveler. There are whispers among those who have traversed these halls before you. Remember about the doors. They claim the lighter the doors. That lighter doors lead to safe places while darker ones plunge you in a deep nightmare. I heard these stories too and have seen people hesitate deciding to face based on the hue of the door. But let me tell you something from my own experience. The color of the door means not. Damn. I thought we were going to have a good hint. I stepped through the light and found terror and ventured through the dark only to find a brief respite. The gamble each time. No pattern holds true to take these stories as you will. But know that this is a place certainly is a luxury you cannot afford. Good luck and tread carefully. Damn dude I was hoping that was true. I guess it makes sense. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is a real test to see if it's the same. That's, that's the act. I'm guessing we're counting down. So it really is a memory game. I thought there was going to be jump scare. I mean, it's not that scary. I'm not like freaking out. Okay. So those two doors are checked. This is the next one. We go yellow. Remember not to open that purple one in that room. We open this one. We open this one. Then we had the clock one. Which we're not going to go in. We did have two ways. Doors. And remember, you know what's going to be hard? Remember where all the doors. Is this a good place to go? Dude, imagine the people do, who really have nightmares like this. Oh, okay. So this this place. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's door five. Oh, like I was saying, currently my Wi-Fi is down, at least to my knowledge, re recently. It was, it's been down since like 3 a.m. And I was like, well, what am I going to do? Because I'm up and I can't fall back to sleep. So I might as record a scary game Saturday. Bring the tensions on the rise. I just got super quiet. Yeah, so. Oh, danger. Wait. I didn't even look behind me, dog. Yeah. Okay. 
Door seven. Let me just. We have door seven. Fucking knew it. Hello. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot where door seven is. Ooh, the fuck is that? What is that? I can't run. No, run, run. He's right behind me. Oh, I scream. He doesn't like me. Ooh. Calm my heart rate down, calm my heart rate down, relax. Relax. Okay. He's gone. He's gone. Wait. Yeah. It's four. Does that mean I don't have key number seven anymore? I'm gonna assume that's what that means. Four. Uh, do we remember where four was? Oh, my heart rate. I wanna go check to see if there's a key in number seven. I'm assuming I need to activate it and then place it. And I don't need to activate it straight away. Alright. We're good, guys. We're good. We're calm. It's chill. We're not calm. He's right. Oh, fucking A, bro. I knew he was behind me and it gave me that fucking jump scare. Run! Run. Dude, I shook my mouse, my fucking keyboard. There's, I have a rag next to me for wiping hands and sweat. Okay, there's number four. Scared the fuck out of me. Hello? We're gonna get is he's gonna get increasingly more pissed off. I gotta calm my heart, guys. Hold on. I literally like took my whole desk. Hmm. That's not nice. We can only carry two keys at a time. That's good. Good information. I'm nervous, bro. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm fucking freaking the fuck out. I hope you guys can hear me well. I'm pretty sure you can. Because I have my... I know it's kind of cheating, but forgive me. Uh, I have my headset turned down a little bit so I can hear myself. Just a little bit. So, uh, but as you can see, I still get fucking jump scared. But yeah, just a little bit so I can hear myself so I'm not screaming too loud. Like I said, I, was, I still want to be quiet. Okay. What do we have active? Number four? Yeah, and then we got five. Fuck. So, I'm kind of liking this. I thought it's, it said we were going to unlock new rooms. I thought this was going to be a maze. This is more of like task or a race Ooh. 
scared. Bye bye. Oh my goodness, dude, it sounded like he was coming that way, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Don't threats the man respect from afar. Damn. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Cause you know I like to keep the videos 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna play this again, but I'm gonna have to leave the video here. One, because I have to mow the lawn soon and it's it's gonna get early and two, I have to take a shower. With that being said, please, I know, we're gonna play it again and we're gonna beat it. Please like, subscribe, comment. I hope you did enjoy Scary Game Saturday as always. I appreciate everything y'all guys do, all the support, all the likes, all the comments. I respond to every comment I do. It's easy now. I want to do it now because, hey, when we're all big together, I'm not going to be able to do it then as much. With that being said, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.